You're all very welcome to Chagas Kildalton College for the AgriAware Farm Walk and Talk. We've taken a series of short videos from around the campus here in Kildalton, which we hope you'll find beneficial in your studies. These will be available at chagas.ie. Best of luck in your studies and your future careers. Welcome to AgriAware's annual Farm Walk and Talk event. We have teamed up with Chagas in Kildalton to bring to life some of the key practices and concepts of Irish agriculture. Through these videos, we hope that you will gain some insights into how a real farm works. We'd like to thank Chagask and all of our key sponsors for help in putting together these videos. Hello, my name is Stuart Gooden and I'm involved with machinery training here at Kildalton College. Today I'd like to talk to you about farm machinery safety and I'm going to focus on three elements of farm safety but first of all we might have a look at some of the statistics. Now farming is a very enjoyable career for someone starting out um, but it comes with its own dangers and as a workplace it's a very dangerous workplace compared to even construction, uh, transport, uh, warehousing and so on and sadly each year we lose a number of farmers and members of the farm family because of tragic farm accidents and farm machinery plays a massive role uh, unfortunately in those fatalities. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the statistics and some of the, the, the causes of these fatal accidents within the farm machinery component of farm safety. Um, two of the biggest triangles here and two that we're going to deal with today is um, a vehicle, uh, vehicle drivers and uh, vehicles rolling over, as well as uh, an operator getting crushed between a vehicle and say a machine or between a vehicle and a gate, which we'll have a look at later on. So the PTO shaft is, as I say, an essential part of any, um, opera any operation on, on a farm, um, but it comes with its own dangers. If we look here at this board, first of all, you'll see that, as I said, machinery, um, machinery is associated with at least 20% of farm deaths. Some of the main causes are being crushed by a machine, struck by a machine, falling from a machine and this one here that we're going to look at next which has been entangled in a PTO shaft and we have some champions of safety in Ireland that sadly have lost limbs and they're the lucky ones in some ways that have lost a limb with a PTO shaft others haven't been lucky enough to, the, to tell the tale of their farm accident. So if we first of all look at um, our little small vacuum tanker here, one of four vacuum tankers on the farm, uh, which is run, the tanker itself is run using a, a PTO shaft. So this PTO shaft that you'll see on this tanker here is um, uh, the way a PTO shaft should be on a tractor. And uh, it has a chain on either end and a plastic cover. What we're looking at here is actually <coughs> um, just a plastic cover. The main steel shaft is, in house, is housed within this plastic cover and a chain on either end. The idea of the chain is simply to stop the plastic cover from turning. Um, so it'll tighten itself up, the plastic cover tightens and that's the cover tight for the rest of the operation. The steel shaft is running still inside in the middle of this, transferring power from the tractor to the tanker. The other two guards that are essential is a no guard on the machine end, which is a circular guard here, protecting uh, the, the operator from getting, or preventing the operator from getting at the knuckle, and a U guard on the tractor end, preventing the operator from getting at the uh, spinning PTO shaft. These shafts spin at 540 revolutions per minute, or 1,000 revolutions per minute for some machines. Now, uh, at 540, this shaft will take in 13 feet of rope every second. So if something goes wrong here, it's going to go wrong fairly quickly and the operator won't get a chance to um, react. And unfortunately, this is where accidents happen. So essential that your PTO shaft looks like what you see here uh, on this machine today. Unfortunately, if you look at the, the PTO shaft that we have here, there are still farms in Ireland that have machines with just a steel shaft like what you see here. And there's a number of points where a loose, uh, some loose clothing, uh, a twine or whatever else that might be connected to the person uh, can get wrapped around this shaft and all of a sudden uh, you're wound around the machine. And the machine won't stall, the machine, there, there won't be any um, uh, effect on the machine but the operator can get, as I say, maimed or sadly uh, a number of deaths uh, over the years as well. The picture on the left hand side is a picture that's widely available um, and it's a man that got caught up in a PTO shaft and he was lucky enough to tell the tale but you know um, I'm assuming uh, chronic pain and so on as, a, as an effect or, or as a cause of that um, 
accident and you can see in the background the uncovered PTO shaft on, on both ends of uh, what looks like a baler, uh, a square baler of some sort and that's still uh, common enough on some farms and something that we should be trying to avoid and move away from. One little bit of homework for anybody that's watching this video over the years is to go home to your own farm or a farm you work on and make sure that shafts like what you see here on the trolley are not um, in use on a farm because uh, someone will pay the price eventually for unprotected PTO shafts. Another area um, of concern on farms is the handling of slurry. Now slurry is a very valuable nutrient source and you're going to hear in other stands today about the, 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 the value of slurry. Um, but in terms of handling slurry, there's a lot of dangers. And while uh, the slurry statistics are not contained in farm machinery, um, it has its own section in terms of farm deaths. And some of the big, the big sections here, as you can see, is, is asphyxiation, which is basically getting overcome by slurry gases while you're agitating slurry, and uh, those gases um, taking their breath away, and in seconds, this can happen. Uh, are falling into a slurry tank is another big section as well. Uh, so you can see underneath me here manhole covers um, which uh, are, 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 are standard manhole covers that you should see on farms. Some older systems will still um, have slats, maybe inside slats inside or slats outside which are much more dangerous which have to be lifted. Um, but manhole covers uh, will prevent a lot of the, 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 the injuries and the deaths caused by falling into a slurry tank. The three golden rules here before uh, you put an agitator down into a tank and by far the most dangerous period is the first 45 minutes um, after you commence agitating. That's when the, a major amount of gas is released and um, when it's at its most potent. So the first golden rule here is that you evacuate the shed. Evacuate, ventilate, agitate. And the first is to evacuate the shed of all livestock. Um, open all doors, sliding doors, uh, louver doors on sheds to allow the maximum airflow. And always try and agitate on a windy day as well to try and expel as much, uh, of, as, as much of that gas from the area you're working as quickly as possible. Uh, so that's evacuate and as I say, ventilate the shed then as well. In terms of evacuate, uh, also uh, pets need to be um, locked up so you don't want your, your best sheepdog running into a passageway where an agitator is working, the sheepdog gets overcome by the fumes and the first reaction of any farmer is to try and save your, your family pet. So lock up pets. Signage is also very important. So, um, you know, first of all, uh, you know, one lungful can kill, so I've said that about the, the, the dangers of the gases, but also for visitors to the farm. So you might have a rep calling to the farm to sell you mineral lick or to sell you silage plastic or, uh, or a vet, for instance, coming to the farm, and you don't, they need to know that there's slurry being agitated on the farm today. Um, and then, as I said, the third, the third element then is then to safely agitate your tank. Farms are quite lonely places in a lot of cases where farmers work on their own and uh, situations like what you see here behind me happen from time to time where um, a farmer can get pinned between say a silage bale or between a tractor and uh, a shed or a feed barrier like what you see here in the background. And <clears throat> there's a number of ways to prevent this from happening. You can't, you can't always have two people uh, around if this is going to happen, um, but you, tractor maintenance is probably the number one priority here. Don't ignore dodgy handbrakes, don't ignore brakes failing on a tractor, uh, leaking hydraulic pipes for instance and so on. And where possible, try and operate on the flat as much as possible. So where you have a slope on a farmyard, the likelihood of an accident like this happening is, is greatly increased. Um, the second thing that can be done is to use a safe stop method in all situations. And a safe stop method in, in, in brief basically means every time you get down off a tractor, you disengage PTO if it happens to be running, you drop anything that's on the back of the tractor to the ground, so any machine, you drop your loader to the ground as well, not like what you see here, um, and you, you disengage the tractor, i.e. turn off the tractor uh, in all situations. That will massively reduce the likelihood of a near fatal or a fatal accident like what you see here happening on a farm. So in summary, uh, we've looked at three different areas on the farm that need attention on some farms. Some farms are very safe, but we need to uh, take account of uh, situations like this and 
uh, try and make our farm safer as much as possible. The consequences of a fatal accident on a farm is there's financial consequences as well as the grieving process and in some situations farms have to be sold because the breadwinner or the, the farmer in the house is no longer there. So very, very sad situations and we need to work harder than we are working. We're working hard but we need to work harder in terms of making our farm safer and let's try and drive down the statistics as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you.